Hi everybody, very welcome to Mentor, yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're all doing fantastic. So, um, today I'm going to talk about ATC slot times. So basically, um, the way things work is that the um, air traffic control units all over Europe, they communicate with each other. And in the busy summer month, uh, as the air travel grows and grows and grows, and also when you guys want to go on your summer vacation, it tends to be more aircrafts en route. So uh, the more aircraft there is en route, the tighter the distance in between them are. And we always need to maintain minimum distance to keep it safe in the um, all over Europe within the airspace structure. So this means that if you, for example, have a destination in, for example, Barcelona or Rome or London, where all of a sudden the weather goes bad. Let's say, for example, that there's fog in London means that the air traffic in there will start to get congested. So there'll be more and more people, aircraft, sitting in holding patterns to go in and try to land into the, uh, the airports that are there. And this will be communicated to the network all over Europe and in some cases all over the world, so that the aircraft that are about to fly into that destination can be held on the ground rather than being held in the air. So, for example, during the summer, as you're sitting and all of a sudden you're supposed to go at noon and then the air pilot comes in and said, all oh, air traffic control has told us that we have a delay, we have to sit here for 45 minutes. Good. That is most likely what is, what's happened. That there is some kind of disturbance somewhere within the structure in the airspace that you're about to fly. It can also be, uh, you probably heard about uh, air traffic control strikes, for example. That has a similar effect, and what happens then is that picture a four-lane highway, and instead of a four-lane, the air traffic controllers have reduced the numbers, they're striking, so it's now a two-lane highway, so it became, becomes effectively congested in the airspace. And instead of having people holding in flight, once again, it's better to hold them on the ground and fit them into the traffic pattern to make sure that there are no hold-ups along the way. So this is what, happen, what happens all through. Um, so why, you know, we, we know about this fairly early, why are you not just held in the gate? Well, the reason for this is that whenever we have all of you guys on board the aircraft and we have closed the doors, the pilots can go in and they can send in something called a ready message. That basically sends in a message to the air traffic control unit telling you that this particular flight is now ready to go if there is an opportunity to do so. So that slot that might be in two hours from now, all of a sudden, air traffic control can come in and say, actually, we have an opening now. It looks like it's less uh, congested than we thought it would be. So are you ready to go right now? And then, of course, what we want to say is that, yes, we can. And we can get everyone seated inside of the cabin. We can start pushing and we can go as soon as possible. If we would have left you guys at the gate, that would have meant that we would have had to start the boarding procedure, which means that we might have missed the slot time and we couldn't avail of that uh, opportunity to go earlier. So that's the reason that we take you on board. Um, other things that people are always asking about when it comes to traffic delays is if you miss a slot, right? Picture that you have taken a uh, one of those um, things that we like so much in Sweden, one of those little tickets, queue tickets in the bank. Okay, your queue ticket is number forty-six, right? Picture that you, instead of waiting for your time, number forty-six, you go out and do some couple of errands. You go back into the bank again, and it's now number 47. You've missed your ticket, all right? That means that you need now need to take a new ticket, and that might be number 145, okay? It's exactly the same that happens when it comes to slots. So if we have a slot time that is, for example, 10 minutes uh, after our scheduled departure time, and for whatever reason there is a delay, so passengers are not sitting down quick enough, or we've been late inbound, so on, we might actually miss our dedicated slot time. And if that happens, you will not going to get the next available slot time. We are going to be have get it back into the queue at whatever place we have in the queue now, which might well be hours later. And this is why sometimes you hear the, the pilot, for example, going out on the PA system and saying, can you please uh, help the crew out by sitting down as, as quickly as possible because we, knew, we now need to move. And if we cannot move now, we might miss our slot and it might actually be a really big delay. 
So these are things that, that uh, it doesn't make much sense because no one is ever you know, answering these things or explaining these things. But this is actually what's happening in the background when it comes to slots. I hope you found that helpful, guys. Um, if you do find this channel helpful, tell other people. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to more and more try to answer specific questions, not only from people that are already in the business or are on the way into the business, but from people like you who are passengers, who want to know more about these things. So feel free to spread the channels on social media and like this video if you did like it. And I hope that you're all having an absolutely fantastic day. I sure am. And I'll see you next time.